Thank you for taking time to talk to us. Uh, can you please introduce yourself? My name is Shelian. Shelian, is this your first time in Tamale? Yes, it's it? my first time. Okay, what are your impressions about Tamale? I was totally impressed. I'm disappointed to say that I had the primitive mindset that was a couple of hearts and distance to communicate or see anybody. But I've seen the roads, I've seen the buildings, the people. I'm very, very impressed. You're very impressed. Yeah. Well, that's nice to hear. Accra has to pick up the motto. Yeah, the bike culture yes, here. Yeah, yeah, because it, it's reduced traffic. Everything is just so free here. The atmosphere is not congested that like you have in other capitals. Where, where do you live again? I live in Accra, but I work in Kumasi at the moment. And this is your first time in Tamale? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so what are your impressions or what do you think are the problems which face the north? Because obviously problems which face the north in one way or the other affect people in the south. At the end of the day, it's one Ghana. Yeah. So what do you think are the problems which face the north and seriously need to be addressed? I think most of the problems with the north has to do with miscommunication. We don't, the north and the south do not understand each other. So things come out differently than they're supposed to. And looking at the community itself, I think they're actually moving forward. But they need more education on general topics like what I discussed with my group, like law, the basic human rights that the f common farmer or cattle person needs to know to run his business. Like they need to know more. But I feel like they're actually doing, I'm, I'm so impressed. Like I think that they're doing quite well and it's not the image that we have out there about them. So they don't really need much. They just need to put, come out more in Ghana and Africa as a whole. So basically you are saying that the North needs to work on its image. Yes, the image, yes. Because the image of the North is angry people, always angry, stagnant, not trying to change. But it's not like that. You, you can see that if you prove to them that this lifestyle will benefit them, they actually pick it up and they do well with it, like with the transportation system I'm seeing right now. Okay, I mean, we will continue to talk about the bike culture here because everybody I've met here is really impressed about the bike culture right, yeah. here and something we should adopt yeah. also. Okay, let's move to the Savannah Accelerated Development Authority. Um, we all recognize that we need to accelerate the development of the North. Low education figures, enrollment of uh, females especially, um, high poverty rates. Um, what do you think about, do you know about the Savannah Development Authority? If you do, what do you think about it? Honestly, I don't know about them. But then in relation to educating the women, is it like measures that are being put in place? That yeah, is so there's a Savannah Development Authority which has been established by an act of parliament. Mm -hmm. What is Savannah? Yeah, it focuses on the development of northern Ghana and the northern part of the Puna Hafo and the Volta regions. Mm -hmm. So the, that is the Savannah's Development Authority. I also, I, I, we have also realized that a lot of people don't know yeah, about it, so uh, yeah, this is something. But if they are doing what they set out to do, then I think it's a good initiative. But what do you think they should do? Um, like you said, Aside girl child, image. yeah, girl child education. I think the most thing, th what we do that brings confusion is before you come to a society and try and create change, you have to understand the society. You come in and you realize the situation that they do not normally educate their female children or whatever you look into it find out reasons then let them know the benefits show them examples you don't just come and force change on them and call them primitive uh, what's not i think that's this is a bit disrespectful and that's what it is it's creating tension between change makers and the north do you get it? i feel like if we're a bit more respectful to their culture and understand it before we work around it it would help Let's switch the conversation a little bit. I believe you registered to vote in December, yes. and I want to know the issues you'll be voting on. Okay, I, I'll be looking at candidates that are bringing out practical, smart objectives, like smart dreams and ambitions, like not just big talks, but then when they say I would, um, I would make SS education free, I would like at least for him to show me, him or her, to show me steps that they would take, not just release blunt statements, to generate funds, but have a plan, a feasible plan. That's what I'll be voting on. 